Hi everybody, uh, big day today. Um, just first a quick word of explanation. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll give you a quick update on where we are at Playing Groovy with other upcoming releases. There are loads of them. Uh, as most of you know, there's been problems with vinyl this year, um, partly due to the pandemic and social distancing. Also partly to do with the lack of factory fire last year, which has meant that everybody pretty much has had to switch to direct metal mastering which has meant some of the plants have got very busy. We got lucky with a couple of the releases. We got, um, we got our orders in very early, and one of them I'm unveiling to you today. It's one that a lot of you have been waiting for. It's Big Big Trains, The Underfall Yard. I'm really excited. I haven't seen one yet. This is it. I haven't seen any of them opened. And you know there'll be no edits because I'm knifing it now. This is the uh, cherry cola coloured vinyl. I do apologise to those of you who want to be the first to get stuff um, and that some copies, some black copies have already been delivered. It was an anomaly. Uh, they shouldn't have gone out last week, but they did. They were delivered directly from the manufacturer to one particular store in Germany who posted them out. So that's why there have been some around about. First of all, before we look at this vinyl, which I'm still excited to see, um, here we go, it's a triple gatefold, uh, lyrics on the inside, the amazing artwork by Jim Trainer, uh, which in full size is just spectacular. A uh, bunch of credits, let's have a look at this vinyl. Oh, that's, that's remarkable. So, the colour of the vinyl and the colour of the colour, or the colour of the cover, they, I think they're going to have to call this colour underfall now. Look at that. Hopefully you're seeing it on there. Um, let's get a bit of sunlight on there. It's, <laughs> it's beautiful um, and it's just perfect for this album. So the way we configured it, um, as you know, there, there were some extra tracks. Um, there was no way we could fit everything onto a double album, so it had to be a triple. And the logic then said that we should put the original album on the first two platters and then the extras. Uh, remixes onto the third platter. So that's what we've got. You've got basically a double album with the original Under Four Yard and then the third album with the bonus tracks. Um, so yeah, side five, Prelude to the Under Four Yard, which is the all new track, and then the Under Four Yard, the 2020 version with different solos. Um, and those of you who already heard this, it, the whole thing is fantastic. The job that Rob Aubrey has done here is amazing. Um, it's, it's just a really lovely release. Um, and then side six has Songs from the Shoreline and Bruinberg. Uh, it's a cracker. I'm so pleased the way that colour's come out. Um, I can't do a listening in here because we'd have to go down to the office. I may get a chance to do that a bit later. Um, so that's the underfall yard. I hope you're all as excited as I am uh, about this. I'm going to go and have a listen. I heard the test presses ages ago, but I'm going to go and listen to my cherry vinyl, uh, uh, my um, cherry colour vinyl later. And there are so many releases coming up that I had to make a note. So just very quickly to give you an update because the timings have all gone to hell. Normally we would expect eight to ten weeks from giving stuff in to the manufacturer to getting the albums back. We're now at six months or even longer, but some of them we managed to get in early. So just going through and, and also the numbers aren't consecutive in terms of when they're going to be delivered. So uh, listen for the dates. We've got Life Signs Altitude, which is a double uh, on vinyl coming out in July. I know that came out before um, way earlier. Um, nothing we can do about that. Uh, 091 is Underfall. 092 is Echo Wreck, The Island, uh, a super album. That's coming out in September. That's a double as well. Uh, 093, I know a lot of people are excited. It's Solstice Prophecy, which is coming out as a double album. The original album on the first three sides. And then Stephen Wilson remixes of a couple of earlier tracks on side four. Uh, 094, Dim Grey, Flown. They're a Norwegian band. Um, that's coming out in June. 095, I will be talking about in my next video. It's uh, League of Lights, Dreamers Don't Come Down, which I've now got uh, spectacular purple vinyl. Um, 096, uh, I'm not going to talk about, but uh, it's made by a band whose initials are BBT, and that's all I'm going to say. 097, Rob Reed's Cursus, uh, Cursus 123430. This is an amazing album. If you just want to try an album out, if you love the um, synth based music of Tangerine Dream through Vangelis, anything synth-based really, 
Rob has done an amalgam of every great synth band you could ever imagine. Uh, 098, uh, that's coming out, I think, September. Uh, Gandalf's Fist, Road to Darkness, should be out in July. Tiger Moth Tales, um, I've sent everything in, but I don't even have a date on the Tiger Moth Tales yet, but it's the last two releases from Peter combined on a double album. Um, and then PLG, we finally get into PLG 100, which will be Abel Gantz's self-titled album. I know a lot of you are waiting for that one as well. It's marvellous, and uh, we've all been wanting to put it on vinyl for ages. The final one, um, it's going to come out through the Plain Groovy Investors, is um, Sean Filkin's solo album, and uh, have a word with me. If you want to become an investor in that one, that's the only way you'll be able to guarantee yourself a coloured copy of Sean Filkin's album. That's it for now. My very lovely wife, Katrina, her arms are aching. Thank you very much, and uh, I think you're going to love it. Bye-bye.